CCC family. It's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet. And today we're going to learn how to do this really cool stitch. Um, I think it's called a bunch of different names, but um, the one I'm most familiar with is the bread stitch. So some of you might know how to do this. This may be a little different variation on it, but this is the way I was taught to do it. So I just thought I'd share it with you guys. So let's get into our material. Please like, share, and subscribe to my videos. You can hit the notify me bell below and that really helps so much. And if you share them to your friends or family or crochet groups, that also helps a whole lot. So thanks guys. So for today, you're going to be using a um, 3.5 millimeter hook. Now, you can use any size hook or yarn you want for this, um, but I'm using this um, Kaboo yarn, and with this stitch, I think it works better with a smaller um, hook, So, but that's totally up to you. And um, this Kaboo yarn I got at Walmart, and it's like a cotton bamboo yarn. And I really love the way it made this stitch look. I tried it with other acrylics. It didn't look bad, but I think it looked better with this one, okay? Um, so you might need a pair of scissors and a darning needle for the end of your project. As far as what you can make this with, you could make all kinds of things, baby blankets, blankets, um, purses. So you can do all kinds of stuff with this pattern. So let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so for this pattern, you're gonna be working in multiples of five plus two, meaning you'll do two at the very end, not two in between. So we're just gonna start off with uh, 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 15, and then you would do two, one and two. And then in the third chain from the hook, so not this one, not this one, but the next one, you're going to put a half double crochet. And then you're going to do half double crochets all the way down. Okay, so we finished our row of half double crochets. So now we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. And you're going to turn your work. And in this first stitch right here, you're going to work a treble. So you're gonna go around your hook twice, go into this first stitch, pull through, go through two, go through two, and go through two. I have a beginner video if you're not familiar with any of these stitches, and I also have a, a video specifically for treble stitches. So if you're not familiar with any of this, look in the description box below and I'll have those videos there. Then you're gonna work another treble, wrap your yarn around your hook twice, go into your next space, go through two, go through two, go through two. And then you're gonna do that one more time. Wrap around twice, go through your next, Stitch, pull up, go through two, go through two, go through two. So now what you have is a chain of four and three treble crochets. And now we're going to work around these three treble crochets. So I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to turn my work on its side and I'm gonna go around all three of these and I'm gonna pull up a loop once, then I'm gonna pull up a loop twice, and you kind of want to try to keep it even when you're pulling up as best you can. Try to keep it loose, but not too loose. And again, go through, pull up, that's three. Again, go through, pull up, that's four. Again, pull up, that's five. Then you're not going to go through these yet. You're going to go through this next stitch right here next to it because you're wanting to anchor this down and get it to where it turns on its side like that. And this is the way to do that. So you put your hook through this stitch, you pull your yarn through, and then continue to pull it through going through all these loops, just like that. It might be hard to get through all those loops, but just keep practicing, try to keep your work loose, but not too loose, and you should be able to work your hook through well. Then you're not gonna do any, any chaining or anything. You're gonna go right into your next stitch and you're gonna pull up and you're only gonna work through this one, this loop right here. You're gonna make chains through this loop. So I'm gonna make four, I'm gonna go, or three. I'm gonna go through one, two, three chains. And then I'm gonna do it one more time. And this time I'm gonna go through both loops. So that's my fourth. And that's gonna get you the height that you need 
okay? And that's gonna count as the same thing as this, so you're repeating this over and over again. Okay, so we just did our four chains, now we're going to do three more treble crochets. So go into your next stitch, work a treble, into the next, work a treble, into the next, work a treble, okay? And now you have three and you have that, this anchor right here, this chain of four. So now you're gonna work around these three trebles that you just made. So you're going to, again, yarn over and work around these five times. One, two, three, four, and five. And then again, you're gonna go through your next stitch, pull through, and then keep pulling through through all of your loops there. Then you're gonna go into your next stitch, pull up, but only work through this loop, working chains. One, two, three, and then in your fourth, you're gonna go through both of those loops. So that's what it looks like. <clears throat> And again, let's do that again. And this time I'm gonna show you a little trick to help you get through all these loops, okay? Um, because that's what makes these, these, these patterns are not hard at all to do, but um, there are certain tricks that help, okay? So again, I'm going to yarn over twice. I'm gonna do three trebles. One, two, and three. Okay, so now we did our three trebles, and this is what I wanted to show you right here that will really help while you're doing these loops and working through them later. So what I like to do, I yarn over, I go around, and I keep all my work towards the top here, and that really seems to help. So I'm going once, twice, three times, four, and five. And you see I'm keeping it all up here at the top, and I think that helps it all stay about the same, which helps you work it through, okay? Then I pull through my loop and go through all of those, okay? So I think that that helps, but look right there, it got a little stuck. <laughs> so, but it'll be fine. So then we're at the end now, and of course, if you're working a bigger project, you'd have a lot more of these, but you would go through your last stitch and you would do... And if you did your five plus two, this should be right. You're gonna do your four chains and this will be your last stitch of the row. Three and then four and in your fourth, go through both loops, okay? So, um, and if, you know, you can pull these down if you need to, however you want to, but they look really good, okay? And so now we're going to chain one and then we're going to turn our work and now we're gonna do half double crochets across. So I'm gonna do a half double crochet right here on the top right here. So every space you see, do a half double crochet. So there's one. And if you need to push these down, you can, so that you can see. There's two, three, four, and then I'm going to be working right around this one five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then eleven, twelve, 13, 14, and then don't forget this last, you need to work into this last one right here, this chain, don't forget to work into the top of that and that'll be 15. So you should still have 15 half double crochets all the way across. And if for some reason you have trouble finding the stitches in that round, because they are hard to find on the top of these, just make sure that you get 15. It doesn't really matter. 
Um, don't try to undo everything because you've messed up or something. Just keep going, okay? And then you would again chain four, turn your work, and we'll do one more row together. So again, you would do a treble right here in this first stitch. And then another one. And another one. So you have three. And then you're gonna work your um, loops around that to make the bread stitch. So do you yarn over and go around that? One, two, three, four, and five. Then go through your next stitch, pull up your loop, go through all of those. Then go into your next stitch, working chains only for, through this first loop. One, two, three, and in the fourth, go through both. And then again, work three treble stitches. So one, two, and three. And then again, work a bread stitch. Go around these three five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Then don't go through anything. Go through your next stitch, pull up a loop, and then go through all these loops with that. And then go to your next space. Chain four, two, three, and four. The four going through both loops. And then start again. One, two, three. Then make another bread stitch by looping over five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Go through your next stitch, pull up, go through all of those. And then for your last stitch here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in there, pull up a loop, and working through that first loop, do chains of four, three and four, and in the fourth one, go through both loops. So you would just continue doing that over and over again. It's the same, it's a two row repeat basically. And as you can see, it's just a lot of fun. Um, I don't think it's a yarn eater. I get that a lot about, and I want to do a video comparing stitches to see if they're really a yarn eater <laughs> because you are wrapping around here, so that would take some yarn, but you're also, um, I guess, going around those and getting height with it, so I'm not really sure that it's a yarn eater. Um, it's just more that you're wrapping those loops around there. So anyways, but that is a video I'd like to do. If you'd like to see that, let me know because I'd like to see if some of these patterns that are just known for being horrendous yarn eaters, if they really are. Um, so it'd be neat to see. But anyways, thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this stitch. If you want to share it with me, please do. You can find me on YouTube, um, Instagram, TikTok, and I have a Gmail. And of course, you can comment right here on YouTube. I love to help. So please feel free to answer. I mean, to ask any questions and I will answer them as promptly as I can. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.